we're looking at the inner density of a simple cubic 100 uh, plane. So let's go ahead and draw our structure. Get always drawing these guys. So here, 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 here. So the 100 plane, that is going to look like this. So this one. So if I project that plane in two dimensions, I have atoms at the corners here. And again, I can draw what is the next plane, next plane, the next plane, et cetera, et cetera. We've done this before in two dimensions. So let's go ahead and draw that together here. So my planar density function, I need the number of atoms. So this looks like here, one, two, three, four, a fourth, a fourth, a fourth, a fourth. So the number of atoms that I'm going to have is one. Is pi r squared divided by this is a this is a this is a so i know that for my simple cubic a is equal to 2r so this is equal to a squared so let's go ahead okay. let me plug in mathematica so i do my i times r squared divided by 4 2 times r squared. And I'm going to get this. This is not my magical number of 0 0.908 or 0 0.9069 to get my, uh, again, to have it be a close packed plane. So my magic number, I need this to be 0 0.9069 to be close packed plane. But instead, I get a value that's 5 over 4, which is not close packed. So not closed, close packed plane, CPP. So uh, next time in the next video, we're going to do the 100 plane in BCC. So I'll see you then. Thanks. Bye.